Yeah, I think the place where religion and science um, I mean, I guess, first of all, I think they're compatible, which is, you know, just a big shocker for me. I'm sure nobody thought that I was going to say that. Um, but, you know, I think the place where they come into play with each other is in decision questions. Um, so, you know, we can talk about abstract knowledge claims and so forth, but the, the place where science uh, and, and, and religion, I think, really come together is when we're trying to make a decision. Um, uh, you know, the risks we're willing to take, uh, and those we choose to avoid, the things we decide to do with our lives, because those aren't really based on like one, just one form of knowledge. Um, there's there's various things that come to bear on that. In fact, I would say that, you know, there's not, uh, there, there's, a, there's not really any decision that religious knowledge cannot contribute positively to. And I would say that's the same of science. science. There's not a single decision that scientific knowledge cannot contribute positively to. Um, it's, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, how those those different bits of knowledge get combined in terms of our decision making process. Um, you know, you know, take a you know current example. I'm sure that many there are many students listening who are going to have to decide tomorrow whether they want to go to class. And I'm sure that there's some scientific knowledge about the rates of COVID-19 in the area and the effectiveness of wearing masks and their own health status. I hope all of that scientific knowledge will factor into their decision of whether they want to go to class. There's also probably questions about how much they love knowledge uh, and the value of spending time with their peers uh, and, uh, you know, how wonderful the instruction is. Those will be factors that come in, you know, but these are all um, things that, that come together. It's not, you know, it's, it, the, the decision has many factors in it in terms of how we make that, make that choice. And I think there are, there are a number of things about that, you know, religious knowledge is, if nothing else, designed to help us make decisions about our lives. Uh, and I think if you don't also take into account, you know, scientific knowledge, which is good at predicting consequences of actions, uh, if nothing else, uh, if not values of them, uh, you know, you need to know what the con like the consequences are going to be. And, and I think science is really important for those things. So that's sort of if I if I see them as you know being compatible, I see them as sort of you know as as, as two sort of pillars upon which we can build we we build decisions uh, with other you know pillars also. But. I would, I would add to that, I like the idea of thinking about it in terms of decisions, but I would add to that there are like small decisions and big decisions. So like a small decision would be um, in terms of certain, we're not, well, not necessarily small decision, but like something that like sort of everyday things would be deciding, you know, who's part of the authorship of this publication when there's multiple people working on a project. And these are kinds of things that, you know, are questions associated with values and ethics, right? And there's actually part now, uh, as of some five plus years ago, something that both the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Health have required that is part of the teaching for graduate students doing research, um, because these are important questions that, you know, historically haven't necessarily been part of the education. And then I also think science and faith have, or, you know, values are really important in terms of really big questions associated with sort of our society. So like science will make things, um, you know, like nuclear reactors and nuclear bombs. And then of course, you know, should we be using them? And that's, you know, the thing that was made, you know, 70 years ago now. Um, but, you know, there's equal questions sort of happening in terms of like in biology to the extent that we can make alterations to our DNA should we be doing any of that? And then, uh, you know, in terms of computer science, we're hitting on artificial intelligence and all sorts of things. So like, you know, science allows us to do many things. And then the decision piece is, should we? Mm -hmm.